to calculate the volumetric displacement of this uh, gear pump um, volumetric volumetric displacement of this gear pump VD uh, so that we can calculate the flow rate mm. so if we know the volumetric displacement um, the we can multiply by the revolution per minute to get the flow rate now to calculate the volumetric flow rate if you look at this um, vacuum spaces where the fluid is trapped and gone um, there is a similar the gear profile if you look at the gear profile meshed it's basically the same as the gear profile so this vacuum space can be uh, is very close to the gear profile so what we can say is um, uh, if we can say that uh, so um, basically if this is the uh, internal so for example like this so the inner circle and the outer cycle like this like this so we can imagine that there is this two circle and because of the two gears we can say this vac one of these vacuum space is kind of vacuum taken by this gear so we can see that the entire space is vacuum so to calculate the volumetric displacement we can imagine that we have a thing something like this so the outside diameter uh, is uh, d o and then the inside diameter is di so we can calculate the area and then if, if this gear is say it has a width say for example the width of this gear is about L so we can consider this as a cylinder so to calculate the volumetric displacement BD you can say VD equals pi by 4 um, the area times the height so pi by 4 the outer uh, square minus the inner square times L so that is the volumetric displacement now this if it's in inches for example so this is an inch square and this is an inch so the unit will be inch cube and then I would like to call the inch cube per rep so every revolution there will be about pi by 4 VD pi by 4 D square outer diameter square minus inner diameter square times length so this much volume will be expelled every uh, revolution uh, every revolution so if we want to calculate the flow rate for example q so vd is in inch cube per rev then if we multiply by rpm revolution per minute that is uh, revolution per minute so we can have vd is times n and then inch cube per minute now if we want to have that in gallon per minute simply we can convert this and make it gallon per minute so to make gallon per minute what we can do q is equal to vd n and then inch cube per minute we know that one gallon is 231 inch cube so basically this will be then VD n by 231 gallon per minute that's the f this is the theoretical flow rate because we used calculate using the gear profile theoretical flow rate and then uh, when this is in inch cube Par rep and n is in rpm now if you try to calculate this same if you try to calculate the displacement for this vein pump this one to calculate the so this rotor is a solid shaft inside and this vacuum space is basically where the fluid is gonna be uh, trapped so to calculate the total amount fluid trapped 
if we ignore the vein uh, width, which is very negligible compared to the vacuum space, we can calculate the displacement like pi by 4 d square uh, cam diameter instead of inner outer diameter on this vein pump this is called the outside is called cam and then the inside piece is called rotor so we can say cam diameter is square minus rotor diameter is square times the length let's assume that this vein pump is uh, width is L uh, like this so basically a cylindrical piece like this like this so this is the width of the van like that so that's the volumetric distance we can uh, do a little bit of calculation here if we want to calculate the maximum eccentricity of this piece that would be the um, rotor cam radius minus the rotor radius so it's going to be d rotor minus d sorry d cam minus d rotor divided by 2 if you rearrange this pi by 2 and then this one we can rearrange dc plus dr and then dc minus dr and then just divide by 2 here and l so vd we can write that v dc minus r by 2 dr by 2 is basically eccentricity instead of max we want to develop a generic fun formula so we can write um, like this dc plus dr and then e and then l so to calculate max and eccentricity use this equation but if it's any other eccentricity you should use this equation and vd is that and similarly this vd can be converted to theoretical flow rate by just simply multiplying by this um, so that would be the theoretical flow rate and whatever conversion you need you need to do if it's in gallon per minute or um, in international unit meter cube per second uh, we can convert whatever is needed so this is for vein uh, what you need to understand here this displacement volume how to use that equation how that thing comes same for this gear pump uh, too all right